The second position drill is installed in the Davenport machine by first placing the 900 collar on the spindle and aligning the set screw in the collar to the hole in the side of the spindle. The set screw is now threaded in far enough to prevent the collar from turning, but not far enough to interfere with the holder, which will fit into the spindle. The holder should bottom against the spindle. The set screw is now tightened. Jog a workpiece into the second position. The drill should not begin to contact the workpiece until after the machine is in the work cycle. Stop the machine at the beginning of the work cycle and push the drill forward to determine the distance from the workpiece. It will be necessary to advance the drill with the turnbuckle until the drill is approximately ten thousandths of an inch from the workpiece. Drill the workpiece, then advance the workpiece to the fifth position, where the workpiece may be severed from the bar. Gauge the hole for both depth and diameter. If the drilled hole is too deep, make the appropriate adjustment using the turnbuckle. Once the second position drill is correct with respect to drill diameter and depth, the third position drill may be installed. We must first place the 900 collar on the spindle and tighten the set screw as in the second position. We can now install and secure the holder. Care must be taken to bottom the body of the holder against the end of the spindle. This facilitates drill replacement. It is sometimes necessary when drilling larger holes to grind a flat on the shank of the holder to prevent the holder from torquing loose in the spindle. This drill may be set at the end of its travel, the highest point of the drill cam. Once the drill is properly set, the point of the drill should be marking the bar end. The drill must be advanced with the turnbuckle until it is properly positioned. It will be necessary to jog the machine with the hand clutch disengaged once the point of the drill comes in contact with the bar end. Make a workpiece and gauge the drill depth and diameter.